we're in the time period between Passover and Shavuos, in the seven weeks of Svirat HaOmer. In this 49-day period, we are refining our character traits, moving forward one week at a time, character trait to character trait. In the first three weeks, we worked on Chesed, Gevura, and Teferet, which are the inner feeling traits. <clears throat> Last week, we worked on the quality of Netzach, in which there was an impulse to move forward based on the emotions that came before. And Hod is supportive in bringing that action forward. The word toda, thanks, and the word modé, which is acknowledging and admitting, are words that come from the root hod. That root, in that root, we are able to acknowledge that God is our source. We are also able to acknowledge others. There is a tradition that when we first wake up, the first words that we say are modé ani lefonecha, in which we acknowledge God's faithfulness in returning our souls to our body. The inner quality of hod is simplicity. And that is the opposite of entitlement. Simplicity is humble feeling, feeling simply humble, and also having a sincere devotion to what we are doing and to our source. Hod is a complement to Netzach. Netzach, feeling that impulse to move forward, is supported by the quality of Hod. So the way that that works is that when Netzach pushes forward, Hod is supportive and encouraging. When Netzach is taking the lead, Hod is empathetic. And when Netzach hits a bump in the road, Hod does not allow giving up. Hod is steadfast and unshakable and helps to keep the balanced process moving forward. An example would be in connecting, as in, for example, marriage. A marriage can, in order for a marriage to flourish, and really do well, there needs to be a conscious effort that there should be a give and take. While one person is moving forward, the other person is supportive, empathetic, and helpful. What's interesting is that in these two qualities of Netzach and Hod, that they work in tandem. So when one person is taking the lead, the second person is being supportive and empathetic. But it switches when that second person needs to accomplish something and moves forward. What happens is the first person then goes into the hold position and becomes the supportive one. By working in this way back and forth, we have a true give and take. In addition to this, it's very, very important to utilize these qualities that we were saying have to do with the words of hod, toda, to say thank you. In a marriage, in any relationship, and in a marriage, it's very important not to take the other person for granted, to say thank you for what the other person does. Also, praise, which is related to this word, to praise the other person, to praise your spouse for the good qualities that you see in them brings out even more. Also admitting. It's important to say, I'm sorry if somebody has done something wrong, or to admit that they didn't understand, or to admit and acknowledge that the other person really understood what needed to be done, and to acknowledge that. When there is this kind of work back and forth, this give and take of the two qualities of Netzach and Haud, which in this case are like the married couple, what happens is that the relationship has a true foundation 
and the couple are able to move forward into the world. Each of the qualities that we're working on has also a, an embodiment, a biblical figure that embodies that quality. And here in Hod, we have Aaron Hakohen, Aaron the High Priest. What, what made Aaron the embodiment of Hod is his great humility. Aaron had total dedication to God and to Moses, and he was just a tremendous support to Moses. Whatever Moses did, Aaron was there to be supportive. Together, they brought the Jews out of Egypt. Together, they brought the Jews to Mount Sinai. Together, they brought the Jews further into the desert to do the work that they were meant to do. And Aaron's enduring commitment to help Moshe accomplish his goals and to help the Jewish people and support the Jewish people were the qualities that he was best known for. Aaron was known to love each and every Jew, no matter who he was, and to make great efforts to bring peace and harmony to Jews in their relationships and their marriages. And for this, he was greatly loved. How do we develop the quality of hod in our lives? When we wake up, we say, Moda ani lefanecha, acknowledging God and giving thanks. We feel gratitude for each and every one of our blessings, thanking for that. And we make what's important to God important to us. In our relationships with people, we are supportive to other people in our lives. And we are always willing to say, thank you, I'm sorry, and to give appropriate praise. During this time, we are refining the quality of Hod. We are revealing God's purpose for us. And like the facets in a precious stone, we are polishing each and every one of our personality traits. Let's make every day count as we move forward.